Painting the jet is only one part of the overall job for the airmen at Aviano's corrosion control section. Before they paint, they need to first prepare the metal on the jet by sanding down the worn out parts of the paint in their first step to prevent corrosion. Corrosion is the metal's tendency to go back to its original form, which is powder. So as it corrodes, it gets weaker. What you'll see as these airmen sand off some specific areas of the jet are yellow blotches. That yellow substance is a material called hexavalent chromate primer. This chromated primer is unsurpassed in its ability to prevent corrosion. Using it, however, bears a degree of risk. The chromated primer, which has hexavalent chromium, it's super nasty stuff. It, it attacks the liver, kidneys, internal organ, organs, and it's a carcinogen. Unfortunately, the only thing that really prevents corrosion through paint is chromated primers. And that's why they wear personal protective equipment, including the respirator mask, the full body suit, and gloves to keep the chromated primer out of their bodies. Luckily for the corrosion control airmen, the Air Force is adopting a new process which significantly reduces their risk of being exposed to chromated primers. So the Air Force now recommends that you just do bare metal with chromated primer and then overcoat everything with a non-chromated tie coat for adhesion. What makes this particular paint job so special is that it is Aviano's first time doing this process with a red non-chromated primer. So if all goes well on this jet, these airmen will be the forerunners in an improved and much safer process. This jet can't stay red forever, so the next step in the painting process is to add the final coat. Now that the jet has the right color on it, these airmen have to add a little something extra to it, just so that everyone knows this one is from Aviano. This is the stenciling process, where they mask the jet and spray on its appropriate markings. After more than a week of work spent sanding, priming, and painting, the airmen from the corrosion control section can finally see their finished product. We take a lot of pride in what we do. It's something that everyone on base sees flying around the skies, so we try to do the best quality work. Thanks to the success of Sergeant Tardif's crew, the next group of airmen tasked with painting a jet can use safer compounds to keep these jets painted and corrosion-free. Senior Airman Roman Weber, Aviano Air Base, Italy.